<laughs> Welcome back. Hello. As you can see, the containers finally arrived after three months of waiting, long, long waiting. The containers arrived. We wish we had more video of this arrival day, but you know. It was raining a lot and it was night when they arrived. Yeah, we were supposed to get the containers at daylight at 11 in the morning. They arrived here 6.30 in the afternoon, so yeah. and it was raining a lot. It was I, I don't know, we'll try to show you some videos of it, but it was really, really hard to film. The trucks were here until almost 8 at night? 8.30 I guess, 8.30 yeah, yeah. at night. Yeah. But after three hours of really hard work, the containers are on place. Yeah, and today we are going to talk about the layout of the containers, but in order to do that, we need to solve a problem. Yeah, actually, to, in order to show the layout of this part of the container, we need to open up a wall because we cannot access that part of the containers. So first of all, we need to open up a door on the side so we can cut the wall and then we can show the layout. But in order to do that, let's just skip this part and show you this process next week. Of this container, so we didn't open up that wall yet, as we said. But we got the job done, that's good. And now we are able to go inside that side of the house and plan what we want to do there and here because we have like a basically layout that we did on the computer and on paper, but that's not real life. So we wanted to try to bring that into reality and make sure we have the right sizes of yeah. furniture, windows, positioning. And actually the first plan was to do with two shipping containers like Yeah, actually the first first plan started with one big straight container but to make sure you understand because it's a little bit complicated let's do it now Well, in order to talk about the tiny shipping container home layout I think it makes more sense to begin by talking about the shipping container itself I guess I could say that there are mainly two big groups of shipping containers. The refrigerated ones and the dry ones. Well, their names are pretty much self-explaining. The refrigerated ones, also known as reefer, are basically to transport anything that needs to be refrigerated. And the dry containers are basically used to transport anything else. Well, it's actually not that simple. In order to have a controlled temperature, the reefer containers have a completely different construction. They are made out of stainless steel or aluminum, with an expanded polyurethane core as insulation. The dry containers are basically made out of corrugated cortain steel with a plywood flooring. As we wanted to build the interior insulation ourselves, and as the steel is a lot easier to work with compared to stainless steel or aluminum, we decided to go with the dry container. So, let's focus now on this kind of containers. I say containers, in plural because there are actually a few different sizes of dry containers. First, let's divide them in two groups, the 20-foot containers and the 40-foot containers. Well, since the beginning, our idea was to build the house in a way that if one day we want to change the location or even to sell to someone somewhere else, we could. So, it made more sense for us to use only one shipping container. Well. We agreed that a 20-foot container would be a little bit too small for us, so we decided to go with the 40-foot shipping container, but actually open up another option. The 20-foot container is made only in one height, 2.59 meters, while the 40-foot containers are made in two different heights, 2.59 meters or 2.89 meters. The second option is known as 40-foot high cube shipping container, or just 40-foot HC. Well, this being said, for us, there is nothing to think about here. It was a logical choice. After all, a 30 cm higher ceiling makes a huge difference in the house. After many attempts, we came up with this layout for the house. Here is the main entry of the house. Here is the bedroom, the office, the dining area, 
the kitchen, the bathroom, and this will be a storage area. If you haven't watched our last episode, you must be confused, as we showed a different layout. So let me explain. The place where we're gonna build the house is on the top of a hill, and to get there, the road makes a couple closed turns, making it possible to transport a 40-foot container all the way up the hill. We only realized that when we had all the layout figured out. And we actually liked the results, so we came up with a solution. Basically, the size of one 40-foot container is the same size of two 20-foot containers, so the idea was, instead of using one 40-foot container, we would use two 20-foot containers. And in this way, we wouldn't have to change the layout. The only two bad things would be that we would have 30 cm lower ceiling and the fact that we would have to find a solution to connect both containers in a way that we could divide them again for transporting. On the other hand, now we had the option of changing the shape of the house. And that's when we came up with this L shape. Like always, that was the theory. After deciding, we visited a company that sells used containers and ordered both containers paid in advance, with the promise that they would arrive in 30 days. But that didn't happen. Ninety days later, we found out that the company didn't have any 20-foot containers, and were just stopping. To make it short, we decided to ask for our money back and we bought the containers from someone else. We won't mention the company's name, but if you want to buy a shipping container in the south of Brazil, let us know by private message that we can tell you all about our experience. The second company also didn't have any 20-foot container, but at least they were honest about it, so we could come up with a solution. So here is our solution for this problem. We bought a 40-foot container, asked them to cut the container in the middle and to add some structure in both ends of the container, so it could be transported. This way we could still have the same layout and with the perk of having our 30 cm higher ceiling back. The only thing we actually lost was a second container door that would be here and would be used to create a sun shade whenever necessary. Well, we need to find another solution for that. Another thing is that not only we need to find a solution for the container connection, but we also need to create a wall in this part of the container. But we will talk about that in the future. For now, as we still have a long way to go, let's get back to the real life. So the procedure we decided to use is paint and spray paint. So basically we're going to draw on the floor and on the walls all the furniture and the windows and make sure that's the correct size of furniture and that's the right amount of windows, the correct space. And now we have 30 centimeters more than before. So yeah, that's true. We can yeah. change it. Because the original project we had like only 250 something high ceiling and now we have 30 centimeters more and so some things are gonna change. Yeah. So let's work on it. Yeah.
mark and everything. So now we can show you guys how the layout end up. Yeah. So here is gonna be the dining area. Yeah, actually this dining area is gonna be like not just a dining area. We have a few things for it, the dining area. Yeah. It's basically the dining area and the guest bedroom. I mean this table we're gonna somehow invent that we didn't invent yet, but we will invent <laughs> something that we can go up and down. So the table comes down to the seat and the size will become exactly the same size as a double bed. So we can have like two guests. And we have a raised floor for the table. That means the table is gonna be 25 centimeters higher than the rest of the house for a few reasons, which yeah. it is. We can have storage under the seats and the table. So, and the seats as well. So we can storage a lot of things. Yeah, don't forget that we are in a tiny house. So in a tiny house, as we have not much space, we need to use the space as wise as possible. And we need to find storage places everywhere we can. Yeah. And another point is, who is sitting here is higher than before. <laughs> no, no, it's just who is sitting here, if it's talking to who is on the kitchen. Like this. So think about that. If I'm on the kitchen and she's sitting on the table, we are we have the same eye level. And if she was in a standard table, she would be like yeah. lower and would be harder to communicate. So that means we integrate more the kitchen in the dining table. Yeah. And at the same time, we can see the outside much better from the window. Yeah, for sure. And now we have the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you guys notice, but this whole layout is based a lot on the Sail layouts boats. of sailboats. We both sail, we have a small sailboat, so we like the layout of sailboats. Yeah, we intend to have another one, a bigger one. One well, day. So that's basically <laughs> our 40 foot sailboat on the drive. Yeah. <laughs> so here, as they call, it's a galley. That's the, kitchen. the galley is the kitchen for the boat. It's a U-shaped galley with space, enough space for a small fridge. A two, everything actually. Yeah, two burners stove. Yeah. Everything you can imagine. And we're gonna have a window here. A small window, just like a little bit more. A little bit more like <laughs> We don't know and yet. And another storage here. Or maybe a little bit more. We don't know the size yet. We didn't decide the design yet. Yeah, the problem is when we had we used to think we're gonna build the container house on a 20 foot container we had 30 centimeters lower as lower as you guys know for the ceiling and we planned to have this storage from here all the way up but now as it's too high I think it's gonna be a waste of storage because it's just gonna be hard to get all the way up there yeah. so we don't know yet if we're gonna do all the way up or if not if you have any opinion about that just let us know just comment below and say what you think I'm pretty sure it won't be until the top though. Yeah. <laughs> After the kitchen, we yeah. have the bathroom. The shower. So the bathroom is after this wall. I don't know if you understand, but this red thing is a wall. And there's going to be a door there. And inside the bathroom is going to be... The shower or the bed with the bubble, yeah. So the bathroom is going to be... The, sh the shower is going to be on this side. And then we're going to have the toilet. And, and the then sink. we have the sink. After that, we have another wall. If you, I don't know if you can see there, there is another wall. And after that wall, that wall is gonna close the whole container, so you won't have access to the outside anymore through the container door. And you're gonna have a storage area after the wall. And that storage area we only be able to access through the outside, so we can storage all our tools because we ended up buying too much tools for the building. But we still have a big, big question that it is should we leave the storage area as it is right now that's only 80 centimeters uh, wide by 2 meters 0.3 or we should open up both container door both container doors like let me show you in a better way so the other idea is to expand a little bit the this part of the container, like the size of the doors. Yeah, the thing is, 
uh, we think that if we have a storage place that's like only this wide, we're just going to storage things. And if we have tools that are all storage in hard places to access, we are not going to use the tools. So I think the best way would be to have our own workshop where we have the tools on the main chain, we have like everything access, accessible for using. So one of the solutions is to open up both container, door, container doors. So basically, we would get these doors open up 90 degrees, we somehow lock the doors in place. We would build a extra floor here, a extra ceiling, a extra wall, and an extra door. And this would become a workshop area that we could have like a working bench and we I mean we could have we could have all the tools ready to use whenever we need to. What do you think? Yeah, we don't know yet. Yeah, I mean we don't know if that's a nice idea to modify the container or not. Let us know what you think. If this is just a stupid idea or if that must might work. But to make sure, this is going to be the last thing we do on the whole project so we can think about it and we can decide if it's the right solution. Yeah. Yeah? That's so, it. no, let's go to the Other west side. side of the container. This one, as we like to call, it's the west container. I mean, the west side of the container. Here is the main entrance. That's not there yet, but it's going to be the main entry door. Yeah. Here is our offset. As we work with video, by now you must know we spend a lot of time on the computer, so we have two computers. What so for each? This is an offset area. And my computer is going to be here, I think. Her is going to be there. And here we are going to have a TV on this L part, so we can watch TV either from the bed behind or from the dining table that you saw already, that way. It's gonna be like a platform. It's like a raised floor. Yeah, from here all the way. So it's gonna be 30 centimeters higher than the regular floor. Same. And we're gonna have the bed on the top. Yeah. And here, next to it, it's gonna be a wardrobe. Here, we're gonna have a window behind. Here and here. And another window here. Here is gonna be the bed. <laughs> <laughs> And we still have some storage here, but we didn't decide yet how big it is and how it is. Yeah, the main problem is we, need to, we still need to decide the size of this window, so we can decide the size of the storage on the top. Yeah. And if we're going to have the storage only here, or if we're going to have here and there. So it's something that we or still... Or if it's just these or if it goes all the way to the top. Yep. Here we plan to have a seat so friends can sit around the computer yep. and storage underneath. And maybe, I'm not sure, we might have a solution to make this become a single bed for guests. It's too many. Yeah, like, I guess that's it. For this part. For this part. So I don't know if it was possible to understand 100% of our layout, but it's just the first sketch. Well, actually, we are not going to start building this furniture for a while because we still have a lot to work before then. So if you have any idea or any suggestion about our layout, just feel free to comment below on the comment section and you'll be glad to see what you think and maybe we might even change some stuff. So, I guess... See you guys next week.